welcome back so we have learned an amazing technique in the previous lecture that is how to write a sub query and then make our queries based on that in this lecture we are going to build further on that and we are going to learn one of the most important techniques in handling data that is pivot so we have to pivot our data from the rows to the columns let me explain you again rather than looking at this this data in rows for 2018 19 and 20 i want this data to be in columns of 2018 19 and 20. how do we do that well let us start first of all i don't need to you know use this part here and i don't need to use the first line here as well let me remove this and let me show you where do we stand without it so i don't need to compile the data in three rows only let me go to my original query which was working as a sub query and this simple query is select the year from date as year and then amount from gl so this is a very simple line of code i hope you remember that now what i need to do after writing this query is i want to see these amounts not like this in form of you know uh, rows I want to see them in columns for 2018, 19, and 20. So what I want to say is, I want to see three columns. Select three columns, and what are the names of the columns? 2018, remember we need to write them in square brackets, 2019, and then 2020. 2020, right? So what I'm saying is, select 2018, 2019, and 2020 from where from from this sub query and this sub query closes here as table one okay after this since i do not need to see the data in rows i need to pivot them to columns converting from rows to columns in generally in our data we call that pivoting so we will be using the pivot function here so pivot function open the brackets and then here we have to write an important line of code please watch that very carefully this is important one so what we have to pivot i would say pivot this amount here what sum of amount so not just amount sum of amount why because when we will be going to columns we will not be seeing so many columns for 2018 there will be a single column for 2018 and for that single column, all of this amount will be summed up. So I would say sum of amount. The next thing is what we need to sum for. We need to tell system because right now there are only two columns, but there can be many columns. So we need to tell system what they need to sum for. So I would say sum for year in and then in we have to write all these three years so i would come back and copy this Control c to copy and within these brackets paste so let us now close the pivot table function as well i would explain that to you in a minute let us close the pivot function as well let us remove this bracket from here that was for pivot function we have applied this here as table two now let me read again so the first part of the query this part i hope is very clear all we need to see is 2018 19 and 20 three columns and in those columns i need to pivot my amount F amount should be summed up into what for year in these three columns and this will be you know since this is also becoming a kind of sub query we will be using it as table 2 or you can name it as pivot table as well whatever you like and now when i press f5 you can see you have only three columns here as instructed by you 18 19 and 20 and the sum has been compiled together the amount has been compiled together aggregated by some function into these three columns so this magic begins by writing the sub query and then extracting the required columns from that sum query and then summing up by applying the pivot function summing up that particular you know amount or whatever you have into this these three particular columns so this pivot function is very very important 
we will practice that again in the next lecture with a new example but please re-watch this video till you get comfortable because a lot of reports that we will be using wherever we will need separate columns we will need to use the pivot function for that there is another technique for creating columns but that is not very you know uh, that is a quite clerical style of technique this technique is uh, quite good it's handy and it is uh, you know uh, very it looks good as well so i will see you in the next lecture where we will be practicing the subquery along with the pivot function again